So, y'all, this is why, if I can just be completely honest, this is why I never put wigs on sale for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Because this is why. And this year, I decided to be different. I just, I don't know if I can deal with the level of stress and headache that it can sometimes cause. I usually don't go live on this page, but I figured why not go live? I'm gonna start going live on here more often. But what I'm about to work on now, I have a customer who sent in some hair. Guess I'm not into you that much. So she provided some body wave. All right. I don't know what this is. Oh, you know what? We're not going to be able to make her wig. Mm. Mm -mm. We're not going to be able to make her wig. Let me out, my time is precious to me, so you just have to do without. Here's something you can think about. You play me good, there's no doubt. Be you're the one that's missing out. Cause baby, we got issues. Yeah. Not gonna make them dictate my life. So baby, if you get Make me 
angels just take me now I'm helpless to resist Got me so invested in this thing It's more than just a fling It's more than just a fling Packages out for delivery. So now I'm trying to hurry up and get home because usually FedEx deliver my packages 
uh, between now and 11 o'clock.
Good morning, y'all. I have made it to my office. Today is Thursday, and my main goal is getting these ready to ship wigs ready. So making sure they're finished, they're all the way styled. I take photos of them over here. And I take photos and videos of them on my head. That's why I decided to do my my lashes and my eyebrows or whatever. So I can look like something when I take photos of them and videos of them on my head. And I want to hurry up and get that done within the next... It's 8.30, so before 10.30, I want all of that to be situated. That way I can move forward with all of my Black Friday and Cyber Monday wig orders. Um, I won't lie, I am exhausted. I'm tired. Um, oh my gosh, it's been so much going on. Um, I want Black Friday, Cyber Monday to be completely out by next Saturday. So I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to think about it. Like I can enjoy my holidays without nobody emailing me. Trying to figure out what they orders there were. Blah, blah, blah. I only had one cust two. One for a week and one for online courses. I've only had two customers. I wouldn't say harass me, but two customers ask me a million and one questions that have been answered on the website in a product description, on the policy page, in emails that I had sent out, automated automated emails that were sent out. So I only had two people just continuously just um, ask me question after 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 question. Y'all get it. Y'all get it. And then um, I have one person that's just having an issue logging into my online course. And I don't know what the issue is. Like, when you have online courses, you are going to come across some students that feel like you program. They're going to feel like you um, can solve all technical issues with a computer. And it's like, girl. So... It could be a bit of a headache. It can be a bit of a headache when people harass you. I gotta stop saying harass. Like as a business owner, we take it as harassment. But if I was to put myself in the shoes of the customer, I would just say it's confusing. It's a disconnect. So that's what it is. Confusing confusion and disconnect. But as a business owner, when you know like you took out your time and your energy to thoroughly explain something and have people not understand it or take out the time to read the things that you explain. Oh. Anyways, we're not here for this ramble. Um, I need to get to work so I can be on schedule and that's what you guys are going to see. So. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Y'all, I just, I just want to vent. Like I'm, I'm, I'm responding to emails, and I don't know if customers, they don't understand that. When they don't follow the policies, when they don't read the rules on the website, they not only make it, they make it hard, they, they make it harder for the business owner to work. I don't think they really understand like the rules are on the website for a reason so that everything runs smoothly, not only for the business owner, but so that the customer can receive their items when they need to receive them. Sometimes I feel like maybe customers think that we're just adding all of this information to the website for nothing. This is a pain that only a business owner can understand. Like, I just, I set up everything in a certain way. Even earlier, like, when people don't send in the right closures or the right size closures or you know, I don't do frontals anymore. So now instead of having that package, that package should have 
that wig should have been created last week and went out last week but because they didn't send in the right closure or frontal that means I can't be finished with work when I need to be finished for work which means I can't enjoy my holiday break or my holiday weekend because now I have to be stressed out trying to make sure I receive your package on time and then I have to quickly create your order and put it out that way I'm able to enjoy myself because I know all orders have been cleared out you get what I'm saying so when people don't send in their packages on time or when people don't send in there the right type of hair as is specified on the website is pushing me back right like what if i had a vacation lined up two weeks from now but i i'm unable to get all of the orders out before i go on vacation because people are sending in their orders late they're sending in the wrong type of products um, they're not following the rules. They're not sending it to the right address. Um, even like with my P.O. box, I put my real name and not my business name. Because if I put my business name, the packages are going to be stolen. Why are people still sending packages with my business name on it? And then if their package gets stolen, who are, guess who they're going to want to, to give them a, a refund? You see what I'm saying? Or when people don't put the right address. I have a P.O. Box address. If you're, um, if whoever you're shipping your package to through doesn't accept P.O. Box addresses, I have a street address. If the package just arrives to U.S., um, like let's say you ship it from FedEx to USPS. And FedEx don't take P.O. Box addresses. They're just going to send it directly to... The post office. Well, guess what? Now the package is at the post office and it never gets put in my P.O. box. Then you have postal workers who steal packages. They take advantage of situations like that. So if your package gets stolen, who is that going to fall back on? Y'all. Then it's going to be the customer giving me a headache and pressuring me and trying to give me a bad review. All because they didn't follow the instructions on the website. So, y'all, this is why, if I can just be completely honest, this is why I never put wigs on sale for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Because, this is why. And this year, I decided to be different. I just, I don't know if I can deal with the level of stress and headache that it can sometimes cause. Um, and honestly, I'm not even going to lie. I think that I'm just going to remove the option from my website to where people can send in their own hair. Um, and I think I'm just only going to focus on ready to ship wigs going forward. I will say it does, um, you're, you are able to make a nice amount of money when you allow people to send in their own hair. But it's just been way too many issues that have been happening recently. Um... And I just want a stress-free life, a stress-free business. And yeah, I think I'm going to remove it. I might only bring it back. It was only meant to be brought back temporarily anyways. Like, oh, this is just a temporary service that we're bringing. But it's been up for months. So I think it's about time for me to remove the option from my website, unfortunately. But yeah, y'all, I haven't even gotten started on making wigs because I have to, I start off my day um, answering customer emails and stuff or getting like bundle orders or orders for bonnets and um, foam and stuff. I get those out the way first before I work on wig orders. I haven't inputted any footage of that into the vlog, but um, I try to do that first before I yeah mm. I'm starting to think maybe I should do it at the end of the day because it just stresses me out before I'm able to even work it just ruins the mood <laughs> oh my gosh okay y'all hopefully I don't have to come back and vent again hopefully the next clips y'all see is me working <laughs> on the wig
all right y'all i am back so just an update y'all it's probably like 1 p.m 1 p.m i'm just now done with the ready to ship wigs and oh my gosh a large majority of it was trying to take pictures of the wigs and then the wigs not staying put in the styles in the way that i styled them so one thing i didn't do that i said i was going to do the reason why i put on lashes and my eyebrows and stuff i was gonna put on the wigs to create content or whatever mm -mm. decided not to do that even though i did have to put on some of the wigs so that i can restyle them so that they can look the way that i wanted them to look y'all the whole process completely stressed me out because i am such a well i'm not but when it comes to wig making i'm kind of like a perfectionist and the reason that I'm that way is because of the prices that I charge. I feel like in order for me to charge those prices, the wigs have to be perfect. Every single last strand got to be in place. Like it, it and when it doesn't do that, it stresses me out. So I had to like restyle maybe three wigs, um, take the photos, edit the photos, create some reels. I put everything on my laptop, my MacBook, so everything is uploaded, the product photos are all uploaded, the product descriptions, everything is put together. I done packaged them up and boxed up all of the wigs and I am just over today. Like if I can be completely honest, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed to begin with. So maybe that's the reason why today just ain't go as planned but i definitely want to get back here tonight to get started on all of my black friday cyber monday orders um but i definitely feel like i need a break so what i'm gonna do for myself i'm just gonna clean up my office i this i mean my office ain't that bad but even having like this box and this ikea bag and stuff here like a cluttered room cluttered my stress it equals stress for me so what I'm going to do is just clean up everything, make everything all nice. That way when I come back here in the evening, which will be the next vlog for y'all, um, everything is just put together like I just kind of <sighs> just make everything more relaxing. I want to walk into a nice, clean, relaxed environment that I'm able to work in. So that is what I'm about to do as of now. <laughs> 